what is going on guys today we are back with another video and it is a very exciting day i've actually spent pretty much um day and a half out here now we are up here at one of my absolute favorite ice fishing destinations we've been doing a ton of checking ice we are currently sitting on lake superior and we are chasing the elusive lake trout one of the absolute funnest bites you can do all winter long now i'm going to say right at the start of this video so unbelievably important to be checking ice safety unbelievably important now, we've been out here for basically like i said day and a half now doing a ton of ice checking a lot of current obviously very big water and it, obviously this ice shifts around and moves a lot so if you're gonna come out here um and almost and you've never done anything like this i'd almost highly recommend going out with one of the guides who guides lake superior or just be unbelievably thorough when it comes to checking the ice you absolutely have to be out here and because uh, you can see how goofy a lot of this ice is going to look but we spent like i said quite a bit of time checking ice around some good safe ice and uh we got a good crew out today it's myself we got my good buddy hayes who was actually out here with me yesterday as well and my good buddy boat so we're they're already kind of set up fishing it's actually kind of the middle of the day right now and um we're gonna be filming a whole bunch of this stuff this is kind of we don't always get the opportunity every winter to come out as far as we are right now and actually chase lake trout on lake superior so it's kind of like uh you know you got to take advantage of all you can and it's also at that time of year where walleye fishing gets really slow through the ice you're crappie fishing you're just sick of catching crappies and uh, the only thing that sounds fun is jigging aggressive lake trout in really deep water so that's what we're going to do we're going to do some of that today hopefully catch a few lake trout and uh, we're going to go into a little bit of this is going to be kind of a quick hits video a few fish catches hopefully and um maybe do a little bit of talking about what we're looking for on the graph talking about how we're jigging these fish the lures the rod selection and everything like that and uh just a little bit of that kind of stuff so when we go you know come out here again tomorrow and the next day and the next day and make a bunch more of these laker videos you guys are kind of caught up to speed on what we're doing but it's absolutely one of my favorite bites to do every single winter and um when you get the opportunity to do it got to take advantage of catching these late ice or uh, midwinter kind of super cold days that may, it's really the only thing that makes ice out here and uh, come out here and catch a bunch of these fish so stay tuned let's get it going on let's catch some of these lake trout go into a little bit of what we're doing Yeah. Son of a bitch, I just got a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he's that big. <laughs> Not very big, good eater. Get her on camera. Nice. Oh, hey. <laughs> he, on, can't he can't shoot nothing. Just flying, huh? Yeah. Nice squirrely size one. Yeah. I'm gonna keep this one, I think. You got him? Yeah. Dude, I had a man the mark. I'm flying up. This really? Second. They're popping off, boys. <laughs> Fish on right there. <laughs> Feels pretty decent. Feels like a good one. All right. He's pulling some pretty good drag here. Oh yeah, boys. He's running. <laughs> He's running good. All right, Hazy's gonna come help me. Dude, he's making a run. I don't think I've gained. <laughs> you see him? <laughs> Dude, I got fish coming up like every couple of seconds, like every, I mean, one a minute in here. I'm only in 80 feet, right on top. So I think we should pull into here. Uh, definitely my biggest one so far. I mean, dude, this is, uh, 
<laughs> it's feeling right. Got so much ice on everything. They have the same uh, A six inch or a five and a half inch swim bait. That's a big fish. I think so. I think we're far from done here. Just came skyrocketing, dude. I had almost no time to even turn the GoPro on. Really? But uh, since I came in here, I've probably had seven or eight fish. Really? Like come up chasing hard. How deep are you here? Only 86. I'm right on the corner of this thing. I've never actually almost ice fished like this shallow for him. How long's your leader? Uh, 10, 15 feet. It's changing angles now a little bit. It's gonna be a nicer fish for sure here. I can tell I've got ice just like inside the... In the reel? In the reel, yeah. Is this your first fish here? In here, the first one I've, I've had bite, but I had a bunch of them. All right, we're at leader. Is it a good one, Hayes? <laughs> look at the look on his face, he's going, oh yeah, it's a good one. Did you see it? Yeah. There he goes, his leader's back out. It's nicer than what we caught yesterday. Yeah. I think we got to get someone in a shack right here in a second. What's that? Would you do it for the team, Hazy? <laughs> oh, dude, the, the incredibly early starts are just so worth it for this right here. Even just one, honestly. Six hours on this. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, it's not too shabby. Nice. Is he going to come up right away? Reel up a little bit more. He's got to be 34, I bet. Oh, he almost got started. He's not as big as I thought he was on a skin V, but ain't no problem with those ones. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about right there. He's got some weight to him anyways. There we go. Anybody have a phone on him? Look at that. Big weight swim bait. That's fine. It's not, it's not a picture for me. There we go. Look at that guy. He's freezing up because it's a little cold out, but we'll get him back down. Does not get any better than that right there. Nice and healthy. I like it. All right, so generally the standard, you know, lake trout presentation through the ice. Some guys seem to fish like a lot of spoons or baits with cup bait on. Generally what I like to fish generally the most is some kind of big white plastic. And generally that's swim baits or the other kind of style of bait I like fishing is like a big fluke style of minnow. And um, gotta get our depth set here and our depth is set. And um, something like this right here. Now obviously pretty big head on here. This is an ounce and a half head on here. Most time if this plastic was any bigger, I'd for sure put a stinger hook on here. Cause adding a stinger can a lot of times lead to a lot more bites throughout the day. But basically the setup here, um, ounce and a half head, five and a half inch swim bait. And uh, you know, Lakers classically love that, just that all kind of pearl white color. And basically the way we're fishing these baits, you know, there's two different things we'll do. One's like the attracting quality and one's like when you're about to get a bite type of deal. And we got a long ways to go down here. We're sitting in 112 feet of water right now. And if you were fishing a, a smaller lake, you know, it doesn't have a lot of current or you, where you don't have to fish this deep, a lot of times going to something and that's a half ounce head might be enough to, to do it for you. But you want a big jig that's got a big hook um, just to hold, you know, especially on a lake like this where we could, we could catch a huge fish, you know, potentially. So we'll get our bait down there, which just takes actually forever and we're in the zone. So most of the time what I'll do is I'll sit like, I'd say five to 15 feet off bottom. And some days they'll charge up, you know, at all given the day. Sometimes they'll fly up way higher than that. But generally what I'll do when I'm not marking anything is I'll sit five, 10 feet, 15 feet off bottom. And I'll just do these big pumps like this, right? 
pumping the bait up. And a lot of times this, this is just your attracted quality. This is so fish all around can kind of see that bait from a distance. So I'm sitting here just kind of giving it these big pumps. Now, generally what happens is that bottom will flicker or you'll just have a fish come in from underneath. And what you're gonna start seeing is that fish moving vertically at you. At that point, generally I switch from those rips to just kind of a reel like this where I'm just kind of barely kind of bumping the rod like this. And generally, you know, they're kind of different than any fish where they love this race game all the way up to the surface. So again, what I'll kind of do is go back down. And this is the funnest part about lake trout. It's all this like cat and mouse, you get to play with them on the graph. So down to the bottom in the zone, you know, doing those pumps, start marking a fish. Generally I start reeling, doing something like this. And generally you'll reel about that far and the fish will come up and either one of two things, they'll either slack line it or what's gonna happen is that rod's just gonna start to load as that fish kind of got it and just going back down with it like that. So those kind of generally speaking, how I like to work the baits. And sometimes you might just be sitting here like this and obviously these trout, you know, in the winter are just crazy. You can just be sitting here working like this, not even mark a fish and just, you know, a big fish comes in from the side and blast the bait too. So they are not, you know, they do not get lethargic in the middle of winter like a crappie would or anything else like that. But generally speaking, this is what we're doing. You know, most of you are sitting here doing this, fish starts coming in, we go to the reel and then a big, huge hook set. Now, obviously the gear you gotta use to do this when you're fishing this deep of water is a lot different than what you use for like a walleye rod or something like that. So this is a rod I've used in the last couple of winters. This is the Elliott 46 inch heavy. And I believe they call it like the Siscoette is the model on this one. And it's a long, heavy action rod. But one thing that's super important when you're fishing for lake trout, these fish that are in deep water, making really big head shakes, is a rod that really loads deep into the rod. You want a lot of load in this rod all the way through the midsection like that. If just the tip loads, when that fish starts head shaking, it's just gonna look like that. You're gonna be able to get a good hook set in them but you want that rod to load a long ways into it so that when they're head shaking, the rod's still going like this and digging real deep into the back section. Then generally I put on 15, 20 pound braid and a 15 pound floral leader. Definitely got to use braid so you can get that big hook set in deep water. And that's kind of how we're set up jigging for these fish. I'm like, are you sure about this? He's like, dude, trust me. Like I drilled holes for three hours to get out here. And uh, I mean, we're probably 10 miles out I got a fish. I got a fish. Didn't even mark him. I got a fish. Yeah. Bigger. I got a fish, David. Help! Yeah. Didn't even mark him. Hooked up still. Yeah, David's on the line. It's looking right. Yeah, that's a nice fish. It's looking right. Is the camera running? Nice, nice. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. Good head shakes. Didn't even mark them. <laughs> hey, also Tom. Yeah. I had, I missed a fish three times. Okay, we got leader already. Yep. All right. You're kind of lighting them up in here a little bit, huh? How long's your leader? Twenty feet. No, he's kind of over here. Dude, there's just nothing better than this right here. Is he pulling drag at all? A little bit. Good. I've been kind of working on that. Yeah. Oh, well, there's some big burps. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah, this is where you want to let him go. Oh, yeah. Really nice fish. Dude, look at that thing. Even just going to freeze pool, if you just got to get him away from the hole, you know? Yeah. Dude, this is a nice one. Oh, he's almost. Unlike anything else, he could fish the dude. He choked it. He absolutely choked it. Yeah, let him. Let him if, he, if he wants to go, let him go. But he's all ping pongy here off the side of the ice. Dude, this is a nice fish. This is a really nice fish. <laughs> yeah. Like bigger Yeah. Yep. For sure. For sure. I don't want to put on. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, he was right there. He's right there. That's a nice one. <laughs> oh, 
he just doesn't want to quite do it. Oh, come on. Oh, dude, he must be have it just so good. There he goes. Oh, dude, look at that thing. <laughs> that is what we're after right there. How was that? Dude, that is a stud. That wow, is a stud. All right, I'm going to pop them off. We're going to take a quick picture for Bo, and then we'll oh show you guys again God. here. Oh, my goodness, dude. 15 pounds, hey? Look at this fish, you guys. Bo caught a grown one now. You're kind of on him in there. I like it. That yeah, is absolutely... How worth it is that? I mean, oh, that is just unbelievable That's right there. Weird. Well, let's drop them back. Yeah. Let that big guy go. We'll keep the shorter ones if you want. <laughs> These big ones are just such a valuable... Valuable fish. Oh. This is, <laughs> it is fills it. Hog, man. Oh, give me some, dude. That is so sick. My biggest lake trout, huh? Heck yeah. All right, guys, when it comes to, you know, what kind of spots are we fishing for lakers through the ice out here on Lake Superior, it really depends on where you're at in the lake, number one. You know, if you're fishing like the western end of the lake, it's just a lot of straight breaks, a lot, not a whole lot of contour to anything, just a lot of real steep shore shelf, boom, out to deep water. And that's kind of the same principle you can follow almost anywhere you go, is a lot of times you're looking for big pieces of structure where we are that might just be um, a part of kind of like where shallow water meets really deep water. It might be kind of a real vertical edge, you know, super steep break. And then a lot of times we'll set up in that, you know, 100 feet or 90 feet, kind of to 180 feet would be pretty common. Um, it also might be a big offshore shoal or reef system, um, you know, where you have a big reef, deep water adjacent to it, and then some kind of tail or sweet spot um, running off that reef in, you know, 80 to, you know, same thing, 150, 170 feet of water is pretty common. And, you know, it might just be something as simple as you're fishing just all really deep water and just kind of jigging for roaming fish. You know, trout will relate to the bottom. They'll be up off the bottom roaming a lot of this stuff. So there's not a whole lot of like, you know, look for this kind of spot, look for that kind of spot, especially when you're out here on these huge systems like this. You know, the number one thing I would say is a lot of times is look for big pieces of structure that have a super um, deep break into very deep water close by. And, you know, really deep water around here would be like two or 300 feet of water. And, um, you know, if you're obviously for fishing an inland lake, that deep water might be 90 feet of water. So it's all kind of relative to where you are, but trout, these trout generally like deeper water structures in the middle of winter. And kind of that sweet spot that, that seems like we fish a lot is a lot of times that 100 to 150, I would say, is a lot of the depth. You can go deeper that and sometimes get away from some, some smaller fish and end up with just a, a few larger fish sometimes. But it seems like a lot of times that 120, 130, 140 foot depth range is pretty common depth that we're chasing in through the ice. Still fighting them? Is the GoPro runner or no? All right, Hayes is hooked up. Ooh, ooh. All right, folks, Hayes is hooked up. I'm gonna try to slide around behind you. Go ahead, baby, go ahead. It's close, up. Yep. there's leader. He's right here, not bad. All right, I made the long sprint over to Hayes. Nothing better, is there? No. <laughs> Oh, he ain't bad. He ain't too shabby. No. I got him. I got him. Hey, look at that there. big. Look at that big mouth. Woo. Another one. On the old white swim bait. Oldest trick in the book, Hazy. Did he come flying? Oh, just yeah. I'm not working. Typical. There we go. Look at that beauty. Nice. <laughs> Colors. Oh, we had a GoPro dying Hazy's shack, but. Oh, cool. I got there in time to. Look Get the last little is, bit. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take a quick picture for you. It barely touched it at eight inch hole. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and he's probably what, 32? Right there. And uh, great fighters. Oh, they fight so hard. There Nothing better you can be doing on the ice, unless you'd rather be crappie fishing. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that is gonna do it for today's quick little video. The sun is slowly going down over there, and we got a long ride off the ice, but I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Was it a good time, Bo? Oh, fantastic. Everything is literally packed up, and look at this guy. 
Are you still fishing? Yeah. He, oh, he finally picked up. You gotta. Sometimes <laughs> it's just you call. You gotta call quick. <laughs> <laughs> he sat in the shack while I was collapsing it down. Big Daddy was a good time. It was a good time. It's always a good time up here. I know you can't beat it. But like I said, we'll be doing a whole bunch more lake trout fishing as the season goes on here the next few days for sure. Anyways, and uh, we're excited to be out here in some first ice and kind of scratch the edge with a few fish today. But um, we'll be out, be back out here a whole bunch of times. And I appreciate you guys watching this video, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this just quick little lake trout afternoon slash day kind of a trip. And uh, we'll see you guys next time because we're gonna be up bright and early back on the ice in the dark, and hopefully targeting some more Lakers tomorrow. You wanna to punch it out, Hayes? Celebrity punch out? Tyson! If you guys are not yet, please like this, subscribe to this channel, and uh, I'm all out of cue now. Punch it out. Just watch, watch the videos.